Hi everybody and welcome to the Crock Box. I'm Kaylee, and I'm going to be showing you how to sow your Gardener's Delight cherry tomato seeds. Uh, this is actually our first video so we're really excited uh, that you're here to join us and um, yeah we're gonna get going. So what I've got here is our uh, compost, our compressed choir uh, disc that you get in your boxes and I've added 300 mils of lukewarm water and it's produced this lovely compost for us to use for our sewing pots. So what I've done already is just put the holes in the bottom of our pots. That's going to help with the drainage of our seedlings. It's going to give them the right amount of water whilst they're growing. So I've already filled up two of our pots over here and I'm just going to fill this one full of compost. You don't want to press it down too much. Um, but just make sure you've got enough in there uh, so the seedlings can grow. Right, that's enough. I'll put that over there. And then we've got our Gardener's Delight. Uh, so they're a lovely cherry-sized fruit full of vitamin C and they will produce um, a lot of fruit on your plants as well. So a really great variety to grow. And this is the one that you will get if you um, purchase any of our cherry tomato boxes. So I've just taken the packet of seeds out of uh, the big packet and we're just going to pop some seeds into our pots. So I've got a uh, popsicle stick here, which I find is really useful to be able to pop your seeds in with. Um, you can use a pencil if you've got a pencil as well. Um, and I should also say, if you don't have any um, pots, you can use uh, seedling trays instead uh, to grow your seeds in. So I'm just going to pop around half a centimetre um, hole in each of my pots, like so. And that's where we're going to pop our seeds. You don't really want any more than that. Um, they want to be able to reach the surface when they're ready to germinate and uh, they'll go from there. Great, so I'm going to take some seeds out of my packet and you will see that they're sort of a, a beigey colour. I don't know if you can see them from there. And we're just going to drop some seeds very carefully into our sewing holes that we've just made. You want about three, three to four seeds per pot. Um, not really many more than that, otherwise your, your seedlings are gonna get squashed um, and they're not gonna have enough room for their roots to grow. So we've popped our seeds in our pots. I'm just going to cover them really lightly with some compost. Bit of a messy pot this one, but fun all the same to do at home. So I'm just going to cover those over like so and your tomato plants seedlings rather um, they like to grow in temperatures of 15 to 21 degrees celsius so what i've got here is some uh, cling film now if you don't have a propagator at home i find that this is a really good method to use um, we actually did this last year and we got some lovely tomato plants um, from sowing them in pots and using cling film so what i'm going to do is just pop the cling film over the pots just be careful not to cover up your holes at the bottom because you want to get the water um, into your seedlings as well. So we'll take some more and cover our pots. We've actually got the sun coming out, which is lovely, on the back garden. It's not quite high enough yet uh, to reach all the garden, but nice all the same. So we're going to cover our pots with a cling film like so, and then we've got a tray um, where we can just pop some water in and get them growing. Uh, nice sunny windowsill will do this um, and they should germinate within one to two weeks and um, once the first frost is gone they'll be ready to plant out so I would say wait a couple of weeks before they come through and once they do leave it about four to six weeks um, before you're then ready to plant them on and um, if you have purchased our boxes you will have your instructions in there um, that you can follow as well. So. And that's it, that's the sewing of our uh, Gardener's Delight. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do have any questions then please do let me know and we hope to see you on the next one.